Hello, my name is Ernie Pascal, and I welcome you to the first Scrum Time screencast. In this screencast, I will demonstrate the entire process for downloading Scrum Time, uh, launching it with Grails, and then initializing your environment using the browser. So let's get started. Okay, so I've just created this new directory called scrumtime.org. You're welcome to create any directory name that you like. There is no dependency on that. And I need to mention that Scrum Time is built on Grails, and Grails requires Groovy. So I need to show you the version of Groovy and the version of Grails that I have installed. Uh, so I need to, to type the Groovy command with the hyphen V option, and it'll show me the version. And my version is 1.5.7. And then if I just type Grails, it will show me the version that I have, and that is 1.03. For the Scrum Time source control, I use a Git repository stored at SourceForge. So I need to initialize a local Git repository first. And then I need to execute a git pull command to get the source to my local repository. And that is as follows. And now my repository is automatically set to the head branch. And as you can see, I now have the project. All that is left to do is to run the application with Grails by the Grails run app command. Okay, it's ready. So I'm just going to view it now in the browser. And uh, it's just at the local host 8080 slash runtime. And here it is. So I'm going to show you that the, the backlog uh, does not work currently because you have to be logged in to see that. Uh, so we would have to uh, register. Uh, likewise, the management tab does not work until you register and log in. So let's try to register. And then as I try to register, I notice that, oh, there's no time zone and there's no language. So let's correct that. And the way to correct that is to, to run an init action off of the root level of the application. And what this is going to do is just going to fill those values in the database that's in memory. It's going to fill the time zone and the language values. And as you can see, it still doesn't allow me to get past the backlog just because I haven't logged in yet. But you can see that I have a time zone and I have a language. So this concludes everything that I wanted to accomplish in the first screencast for Scrum Time. I thank you for watching and I hope that you continue to follow the progress of this application.